Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA car kits in a 2013 Bentley Continental and today we're going to show you how to install this Apple CarPlay and Android Auto system on it. As you can see it's already installed in this car and it's paired to our iPhone wirelessly. So you can do all the standard Apple CarPlay features or Android Auto features. Still going to be using your original Bluetooth for phone calls and uh, this kit gets connected to the auxiliary connection for sound. So as you can see it's on Waze right now and you can choose different apps from Apple CarPlay. You can also play your Apple Music through here. So this is all standard Apple CarPlay stuff. And at this point we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it in this particular Bentley. So the tools that you're gonna need is a T20 Torx screwdriver and this is a panel removal tool and this is a hook tool also part of the panel removal toolkit. And we also suggest having like a microfiber cloth so you don't scratch anything especially when taking everything out. So we're first gonna take our panel removal tool and we're gonna get underneath here. And now we're gonna use our fingers. And also try at the top. And we're gonna remove this panel. So at this point you can take your microfiber cloth. We're gonna put it the back here so these corners don't scratch the car and there's two connections here which we have to undo there's one right here we're gonna press the clip at the back so then there's a clip underneath here which you have to move and release and then you're gonna press on both sides and at this point we can take this panel and move it away so there's six bolts holding the radio and this HVAC panel in place so there's two at the bottom one and two there's two right here a little bit more hidden one over here and one on this side uh, and then there's two on top so we're gonna go ahead and use our t20 torx to remove them all So now that we've removed the bolts, the radio can come out and uh, we're gonna just uh, put the ignition on and we're gonna move the shifter all the way down and it's good to put the e-brake on at this point. So we're gonna use this rag here to cover the leather and we're just gonna take the radio and move it out. And now we're gonna unplug all the connections at the back. So at the back we're gonna begin with this main connection to the stereo the power harness. There's a clip at the bottom which you have to press in order to release the connection. So the clip that I was talking about is right here. Next we're gonna do these antennas. Whichever is easier with your fingers. With the two. Same with this blue one right here. Then we're gonna press and release this white clip and this connection has a clip underneath it and the last one is here at the bottom just press and remove it so remove the stereo and now we're going to show you how to modify it on the inside so this is the radio that we removed and uh, these are the components that we're going to install inside so we're going to install this uh, motherboard and it has this spacer and one extra wire for a video signal so the tools that you're gonna need is a T8 Torx and a T10 Torx. And we're also gonna be using this tool which we showed you earlier. So first we're gonna start with the T10. So over here you're gonna see two bolts. Actually there's three, but we're only gonna remove two. They're the ones that hold the screen in place to the body of the radio. So we'll flip it over. So now we're gonna lift it up carefully and separate the body of the radio from the actual screen and over here we have uh, three connections that we're gonna have to disconnect press on this clip and remove it for these other two flat cable connections we're gonna use our tool here to carefully release the lock and undo these connections And now we're gonna use a T8 Torx. We're gonna remove four bolts on top of the radio. So you're gonna note that 
the, f the initial bolts that we removed are kind of bigger and then the rest we're going to be removing are small and then there's also a third kind of bolt that is going to be at the back of this lcd screen so now there's two more bolts on top once you do that you can lift up the cover of the stereo so you lift it up from this side so now we're gonna remove this changer we're not we're gonna remove it we're gonna just put it to the side over here you're gonna see another uh, bolt and it's also a t8 so we're gonna go ahead and remove it now we're gonna take this gold spacer which comes with our kit and we're just gonna screw it in you can also kind of use the t8 to lightly tighten it now we're gonna take our motherboard which came with the kit and uh, in this position we're gonna insert it into the original connection here and we're gonna lock it in place so when you're locking in place you gotta make sure that this is perfectly straight otherwise when you're gonna turn on the radio it's not gonna display anything we're gonna maneuver this motherboard around so you end up having at the back of the motherboard here this hole lines up with the spacer that we installed and now we're gonna take the original bolt which we removed and we're gonna screw it in there so for now we're done with this portion so we can actually put the cd changer back on top so now this is the back of the lcd screen so here you have eight bolts so four on each side and we're gonna use our t10 torques and we're gonna remove them all as mentioned before, these ones are different. They almost look like wood screws. So make sure that you're putting them back into the correct place. So now we're gonna just lift up this cover and now we have to get to this cable. So we're simply gonna pull on it carefully and remove it. And this one will go to the extra motherboard that we installed so we're gonna plug it in on top here it will only go in one way so that's it it's plugged in and then we're gonna right away plug it in to the original connection which we unplugged and now we're gonna unplug this cable that came with our kit and we're gonna take it and plug it in to the back of the original screen you gotta make sure that it clicks and goes all the way in and again with this one it will only go in one way so at this point we can put back the cover and at this point you can take and uh, we're gonna put all the eight bolts back So we're gonna take the CD changer out again and here we're gonna use, you can use a screwdriver or you can use whatever torques you're using right now and we're gonna move this metal block so we have an opening here now and we're gonna take our cable that comes with the kit and we're gonna feed it through here and then over here on top of the motherboard you're gonna see that there's a place for it to connect so it will only go one way so you gotta make sure that the side that has these little wires exposed will be facing towards the inside of the stereo. And we're gonna plug it in. And that will give us uh, the video feed to the original radio. So now we're gonna take the body of the stereo and we're gonna put it on top here and line it up with these connections. So first we're gonna connect the original flat cable into our motherboard. Again, it has to go in straight and then you can lock it in place. Then this is also the original connection. Same thing, we're gonna put it in straight here and then lock it in place. And last one is the one that we brought out from the LCD screen and we'll plug it into the lower portion of our motherboard. There you go. So now we're gonna take the top cover of the radio and we're gonna put it back. We showed you earlier that this side with these edges sticking out will go in first. Then you're gonna put it in. And now we're gonna use, so now we have eight bolts left over, two big ones, I mean four big ones and four small ones. 
we're gonna switch to the T8 Torx and we're gonna use all the four small ones. I'm gonna put them on top. So now we're gonna switch back to the T10 Torx because we're gonna be putting the side bolts here. So we're gonna take the body of the stereo and we're carefully gonna put it back in. You gotta make sure that the holes line up they do so we're gonna take the four remaining bolts two on each side i'm just gonna put them back in so at this point the stereo is assembled and the only thing visible is this uh, extra cable for a video and as you can see it looks like nothing ever happened to it so now we're gonna go and take it to the car and test everything so now that we've modified the radio and we're ready to put everything back, we're gonna show you the rest of the components that you're gonna get with the kit. So you're gonna get the main module, which is gonna get hidden behind the radio. You're gonna have a harness, which we're gonna plug into the original harness and then to the back of the stereo. You have the harness that goes to the module. Uh, we're gonna also put a microphone here. This is gonna be used for Siri or Google Assistant. You're still going to be using original Bluetooth for phone calls. Then we're going to run to the glove box a USB connection. And we're going to run the audio wire also to the glove box. So first we're going to start with the harness. So you're going to take your quad lock harness, the original one. You're going to unlock it. You're going to match it up with the connection here. Just going to lock it in place. So this is the connection that will go to the back of the stereo. Now we're gonna take the harness that goes to the module. We're gonna plug it in on this end. The other side will plug in to our module. So now we're gonna take the microphone and we're gonna take this end. And we're gonna feed it from behind. And in order to leave the microphone over here, on top of the case for the stereo and then you're gonna take the microphone wire and you're gonna plug it in to the module into the appropriate slot so now we're gonna show you how to feed the wires into the glove box so inside the glove box here we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver in order to remove this plug and that's where we're gonna feed our audio cable and the USB connection so now that's removed, we're gonna take, uh, you can use something like a coat hanger. Uh, here you go, it's just a thin piece of wire, which we're gonna feed inside. And now we're gonna catch it at the back of the stereo. So now this is the wire. So we're gonna take our two wires, which we have to feed uh, to the back of the stereo. So this is the audio wire. And then the other one is the USB connection, which is on the other side. So we're gonna take this end and we're gonna use some electrical tape to tie it all together. That way we can pull it through and bring it out at the back of the stereo. So now we have this end here. And so now we're gonna carefully pull it through. We, here we go, we have our two wires, and now we're gonna undo the tape. So now we're gonna take these two wires, and our main point is to lower them a little bit lower in order to bring them out at the back. So now we're gonna take these two wires and plug them in. So one of them will go to our harness, which says audio out, that's for audio. And then this one will go to the a USB CP USB connection and over here inside the glove box so now you have the USB and this is you're gonna gonna be your wire for for sound so now we have our stereo which we modified and we showed you how to do everything so we're gonna take that cable that we brought out of the stereo and we're gonna plug it into the LCD out connection. So at this point, you're gonna carefully put the module just over there. So at this point, you can only, you're gonna connect the main harness 
So we're gonna make sure that it unlocks and we're gonna plug it to the back of the stereo. So you insert it almost all the way in and only then you lock it in place. Now we're gonna power on the radio and make sure that everything works properly. So we're gonna turn the ignition to the accessory position. So the main thing is that uh, everything displays properly and you're gonna test the touch screen and make sure that it works. So that tells you that everything at the back of the stereo inside is connected properly. If something or the image is not showing, then you would have to redo the connections. And now we're gonna take our module. So over here you have eight small dip switches. So usually they're gonna be number eight turned on and number three turned on. But for this initial setup, we're gonna turn on number two. So they're just upside down, but this is one and this is eight. So number two is turned on, number three and number eight. And then we're gonna press the red reboot button here. And once it reboots, you're gonna see here on the stereo, these plus signs. So you're gonna just start pressing them. And this is to calibrate the touch screen. So that's it, it's been calibrated. So we're gonna go back to the switches here. We're gonna turn number two off and we're gonna press the reboot button again. It takes you back to the original screen. And at this point, we're gonna connect our iPhone to the, to the USB connection, which we have in the glove box here. And then to our iPhone. Once you do that, CarPlay should launch and you're just gonna test that uh, touch screen is working here. So it is, we're gonna check the sound, sound is working. So at this point, we're gonna shut everything off and now we're gonna tuck all the wires in and put the module behind the stereo. So as you can see, now we're hiding the module behind the stereo and it's uh, positioned horizontally and we're just gonna push it down and hide it over there. Then we're also gonna hide the harness that goes to the module in the same area. Now we're gonna start connecting all the original connections to the back of the stereo. So this is the HVAC connection, the, the antennas, blue has to match with the blue and the green with the green. And then there's the last one, this plastic connection, it gets plugged in, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it gets plugged in at the bottom of the stereo. We're gonna make sure that none of the wires are in the way so the body of the stereo can has no obstacles here to go back in. So now we're gonna put the stereo back. And at this point, we're gonna start putting all the screws back. So we're gonna again put this cloth over here on top we're gonna take this radio surround and we're gonna start plugging it back in. So first you're gonna slide this connection in and then you're gonna plug in the connection at the back of it, the flat connection. And we're gonna put our microphone closer to the driver here. And then you're gonna plug in the connection that goes over here to the clock and now Carefully gonna put it back. So when you see it line up with the stereo, you can just push it in. At this point, the installation is done. So again, this was a video for GTA Car Kits on how to install our kit in this Bentley. I hope you liked it and we'll see you next time.